Hi, I'm William Everhart, Director of Training here at Lodestone, and today I want to talk to you about packaging your InDesign document for safekeeping. InDesign is no doubt one of the most powerful desktop publishing tools on the planet today, but what do we do when our project is finished? Do we leave it up to the IT department to make sure that our file is safely tucked away? What about all the images and vector graphics? Will they get archived with the InDesign document? And what about the fonts that I use in my InDesign document? Will they still be available in case I need to revisit the document in the future? In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make sure the answer to all these questions is a resounding yes. Here is my sample InDesign file. As you can see, I have various fonts. I have vector graphics that were brought over from maybe Illustrator. If I scroll down a bit, I'll start to see some images that were brought over from Photoshop. These are little screen captures. And what I want to do is make sure that all of these assets, the fonts, the images, and the graphics from Illustrator are all packaged together with my InDesign document. Just because they're here doesn't mean they're actually inside the document. These are all linked assets. So that simply means that it's giving me a low-res copy of these images and such. So it still relies on those external sources of the images and the vector graphics and the fonts. Well, I want to use a feature that has been in InDesign since the beginning. It's called the Package feature. If I go to the File menu and I choose Package, I get a little summary of what InDesign thinks about my file. Now, keep in mind that this package feature was designed for professional printing. Now, all of these assets that I have in my InDesign document, they may be in different locations on my server or on my hard drive. Who knows where they are? I want to get them in one nice, neat little package all in one location and hand that off to my professional printer. That's what the package feature is all about. Well, I'm not printing this document. I'm archiving it. So why would I use this feature? Well, for the same reasons that I would package this document for professional printing. It gathers all of my assets, my images, my graphics, my fonts, in one location along with my InDesign document that I can then archive. I can get it off my computer, get it off my server, make room for new files, and then in the future, if I have to come back to this document for some reason, well, I just pull the little package off the shelf, open it up, and everything I need to create this document or edit this document is all in one nice, neat location. So, let's take a look here. I've got a small warning in my links and images. Well, I know what that's about. Let's take a look. Over here in the links and images, it's saying you have some problems here with some of these images. Remember, the package feature was built around professional printing. Professional printing uses four color process, CMYK. The images I'm using here are RGB, red, green, blue. And traditionally, that has been a no-no for professional printing. So that's why the warning is here. Now, I'm not professionally printing this. This was simply for display purposes only. So I'm going to bypass that warning and go ahead and hit the package button. It's going to give me some printing instructions. Now, I could fill this out if I wanted to, but I'm not printing it, so I'm not really going to use this. But you could, maybe for archival purposes, put in the information, your contact information, so people know that if they open up the package file, who created it. Maybe some special instructions on how you built the file. Maybe there's certain layers in there that you did something special with. And it would be good information either to remind yourself what you were doing or someone else who happens to pick up this project after you. So you can still use this even though it's not being professionally printed. Next, it's going to take the name of my document, in this case, data merge conditional text, and it's going to append the word folder to it. This is the folder in which it's going to build and put all of my assets. So I'm going to just leave the name as is. You can certainly rename it. I'm going to point it to my desktop, and then I'm going to look down here at the bottom at some of the options. Now, some of these options are copy fonts. Yeah, absolutely. Copy linked graphics. Sure, that's going to grab all of my fonts and all of my graphics that I used inside my InDesign file. It's going to make duplicates of those and put them in this folder it's about to create. Not only that, 
The third option here, it's going to update those graphic links in the package. A link to a particular image would be out on the server somewhere. And InDesign remembers that path directory to that file on the server. Well, when I do this package feature, it will update that link and point it to my package folder. So I don't get that missing link message. Well, I just want to include one more item here. I'm going to step down just a little bit and it says include fonts and links from hidden and non-printing content. Very, very important. I may have some text out in the uh, pasteboard area or maybe some images I placed out there that I was swapping around, couldn't make up my mind on. I still want to include that stuff just in case uh, I change my mind and want to include it in a later or future project. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. The rest of these I'll just leave as they are and I'll go ahead and package this document. Now Adobe is going to give some warnings about um, fonts and the fact that they are uh, a licensed product so you got to be careful of that but this is my package I'm keeping it so I'm okay with this. InDesign is going to package it up so now that it's finished let's take a look. If I hide InDesign here on my desktop is my data merge conditional text folder. I'll open it up. There's my InDesign file. There's a folder with all the fonts that were used in that file. Here's a folder with all the links that were used in the file. And then here's my little instructional document. That's it. That's all there is to it. This folder is now ready to be safely backed up onto a DVD, external drive, whatever it is you use for your backup method. If you don't back up yourself, if you don't do the archival, you can still upload this folder to uh, your server where the IT department can back it up. So that's it. Packaging your InDesign document for safekeeping. Thank you for watching. For more quick tips or more in-depth training, please go to www.lodestone.com.